Hello, this is Andrew with the Scale Support Team. In this quick start guide, we will cover the foreign VM import migration method. The features shown in this guide have been tested in a limited fashion internally, and in preliminary use have been seen to function in most environments in the field. However, the features are not officially tested as part of the HC3 system and may cause unexpected behavior. Best effort assistance will be provided at the skill support team's discretion, unless otherwise noted. To start this process, identify the VM in need of migration, located in the existing virtual environment. These general steps will assist in importing a foreign virtual machine or appliance into the HC3 system to run as an HC3 VM. This includes VHD, VHDX, VMDK, QCOW2, OVA, and other file types that have not been natively exported from the existing HC3 system first. Please note that OVA files require additional steps to extract VMDK files from them. This can be accomplished via programs such as WinRAR. Additionally, Gen2 VHD Hyper-V disk files will require additional steps after import to convert from an EFI to MBR boot partition in order to function correctly within the HC3 environment. Utilize or make an SMB share folder that can be accessed through the network by your HC3 system. Through the HC3 web interface, create a template VM that matches the configuration of the foreign VM or appliance you are importing. This includes matching the operating system through the OS type options, number of disks, CPU allocation, and RAM allocation. Leave disk sizes at the default 100. The final disk size will be determined by the virtual disk files being imported. The disks are a one-to-one -one conversion. You will need an exported QCOW2 file for each foreign VM disk. Initial HC3 VM creation only allows for three disks. If needed, Add more through the template VM's card once it has been created. When the template has been finalized, proceed by exporting it to your SMB share. Select the replication and snapshots icon on the template VM card. Then click the export VM icon. In the SMB share information, use the server or computer's IP address it resides on. Enter user information that has access to the specific share. Add a domain if required. Leave blank for workgroup. The path only applies to the file path within the server. Do not include the server name, as it has already been accounted for with the prior IP address. When finished, hit Export. A progress notification should appear on the HC3 user interface. If an error is encountered, double check the IP, user information, and path, then attempt again. Contact support for assistance if these checks or re-entering information does not correct this issue. Once complete, a folder with the VM's name will be exported to the specified path. Inside this VM folder will be a single XML file and QCOW2 files for each HC3 VM disk that was exported as part of the template. Ensure that the foreign VM or appliance virtual drive files are also in the same SMB share. Utilizing the template's QCOW2 file names, rename the foreign disk files to match. As seen here, the VMDK files are now identified under the QCOW2 file names. Rename the exported template QCOW2 files with a differentiator. Copy or move each renamed foreign VM or appliance disk file into the VM template folder. Remove the original template QCOW2 files that had the differentiator added. These can also be identified by their size, as they will be very small compared to the foreign VM drive files. Do not remove the XML data file. It is required for the import process to succeed. When the template file only contains the renamed foreign VM disk files and the original XML data file, proceed by importing. On the HC3 web interface, click the Import VM icon. Enter the SMB share information for the import. Ensure the exported HC3 VM folder is included in the path. A new VM will be created in the HC3 web interface. The HC3 system will detect the foreign disk format during the import process and automatically convert the disks 
to the required QCOUNT2 file type during the import. The end result will be an HC3 VM with QCOUNT2 formatted disks, utilizing the original foreign VM or appliance data. This concludes our foreign VM import migration method quick start guide. If you have any issues or questions regarding this process, please reach out to the SCALE support team.